Hello all my Kenvians, Papa Ken here, bringing you a brand new episode of Papa Ken Plays Hyrule Warriors. I might sound a little bit different today, and that's because I got in my new headset, so I'm giving it a bit of a run. Hopefully the quality is good. If it's not, I'm sure you all will let me know. And if you don't want to at first, please do give me your thoughts on the new microphone. I would like to hear whether or not its quality is better. I can definitely tell it's less tinny. <laughs> than the old headset used to be. But let's get right into this and move on to... Oh, I forgot about this. Now able to increase Link's rep repertoire of attack actions. Try creating the Kokiri Sword 2 attack badge. Sure, why not? Uh, yeah, before we go in, we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, I gotta get used to the... Uh... Oh, that's right, the bazaar is back here. <laughs> so I'll do that there. <laughs> I have to get used to the buttons again. Uh, going back and forth between the uh, um, 3DS and the Wii U can be a bit distracting, admittedly. Or a little bit confusing, to say the least. Sweet! <laughs> uh, makes the weak point gauge diminish slightly quicker. Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to unlock that, especially since I'm going to be using Link in this next level. Uh, yeah, I want to unlock the, uh, wooden sword combo there for sure. Oh yeah, I think I actually unlocked some of this stuff while I was playing in a little live stream for fun before, so that's why I have some more materials <laughs> than I did last time. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Um, okay, that's actually all I'm going to upgrade for now. Uh, how are we doing level-wise? Link is at level 7... Impa is at 8. And the rest of them I won't really worry about for now. We'll just continue on with Link. Going into the third level, Farron Woods. And if you remember in the last episode, I acquired the Fire Rod. And that is the recommended weapon for this level. So let's do it. And I suppose I'll let the... Uh, story play out as usual. Link and his allies were saved from the dangers of the Elden Caves by a mysterious youth named... Who could Sheik be? Joined by their new ally, Impa's <laughs> troops exited the caves... For those of you that don't actually know, I, I, I'm i sorry for kind of picking on you there, but seriously. Who could Sheik be? It's a complete mystery! ...their search for Zelda, they could not ignore the plight of the villagers. Without hesitation, they sprang into... Without hesitation! All right. And, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. It's funny that they mentioned that there's, a uh, one hour... Oh, no! Ah, uh, Lana. I think that's her name. Funny he's using a sword there, and that's not even the weapon I'm going to be using. <laughs> yes, Lana. <laughs> uh, there are so many good characters in this game. Uh, when I unlock all of Lana's attacks, she is uh, she's uh, she's one of my next favorite characters to play as, next to Impa. Uh, seriously, uh, like when you f unlock her first few combos, it's you know it's her, her attacks are okay, but it's not until you really get some of the bigger ones out that it just really gets to be <laughs> brutal. Oh, well, I guess we can help fight, I suppose, maybe. <laughs> All right. Hi, boys. Ooh, time to make a barbecue. <laughs> Give me your materials. Oh yeah, I think it's, uh, yep, Wizro's in this level too. And you know, as funny as it is, like, the one and then hard, hard attack combo is probably one of the best. But, the axe attack, once it's upgraded, that's actually the, uh, 
upgrade that I just unlocked um, back in the badge screen. The, the, the axe attack is pretty friggin' sweet too, I have to say. <laughs> okay, so... Have to defeat the Deku Babas. And somewhere around here is the bow and arrow. <laughs> don't I usually have a bow? Why, yes, I do. And I actually know where it is, so we don't have to waste any time. Somewhere south of the village. You mean like... Wait. You mean like right here? <laughs> oh. You know what, while I'm playing, I'm just gonna say that, uh, thank you to, um, viewers Melissa and Jane, who decided to go on a bit of a mini-binge on the Hyrule Warriors videos that have come out before this one, and for all their comments. It's like, it was really funny and entertaining, and I'm sorry if my, uh, evil voice scares you. <laughs> I'm so sorry indeed. <laughs> Don't you dare try and hit me, silly boy. I think the one thing about the fire rod that I don't really care for is it's just regular combo pattern. I mean, it covers a good distance, but it's just, I don't know. It doesn't have the same impact that some of the other attacks do, if that makes any sense at all. Probably doesn't. Metal, metal acquired, or material acquired, and bow and arrow. There we go. Alright, two more of these buggers. And the music here is okay. This is probably one of my least favorite uh, stage musics. But even then, it's still not its not bad, it's just not as catchy. It definitely has the, uh, like the feeling of tension down, though. Oh, who hit me? I'll blow your face off. Or I'll chop you up with an axe. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Bring it! Yes! Yes! Breathe the dragon fire! Was that kind of dark? I think that was kind of dark. These guys can be a real pain if you don't know how to handle them. And yes, just like with, uh, as I said previously, with characters, um, if you want to make, if you want to uh, get off the, uh, or, or basically break the uh, combo pattern a little bit early, so you're not just stuck there, make sure you jump, or not jump, make sure you dodge. Okay, time to clear this place out. You know, that one's okay. It's even better once it, like more of it gets unlocked. But the 1 and 2 combo attacks are definitely the go-tos for this weapon. <laughs> Material thank you. Okay. So how's everybody doing? Um, I don't think I'm going to have time to tonight. But I am going to try and record a bunch of these uh, at once, uh, coming rather soon. The reason why I don't want to do it tonight is mainly because um, I'm just I don't know how the levels are for the new microphone quite yet, and I just want to make sure I can get that solidified because I know that there have been a few times where I've done some recording sessions and they've gone on quite a while, but then, you know, the uh, recording sounds horrible and I have to spend forever trying to <laughs> make it not sound horrible, which is a lot harder than you think it is. Ah, darn it. Okay, well, I took him out, so there's that. 
the Gibdos have a very thin, a very small window of opportunity with which to get their weak points. But if you can get it, it's very worth it. Boom. Because once the weak point's down, unless you're playing at a higher difficulty and um, you're using a not very strong weapon, it's like they just go down so quickly after that. Oh, we already have this one. Never mind. Ooh, I need to... Yes, my strength is most impressive. Uh, take out this Gibdo. Eat the dragon fire. <laughs> wow, they took a took over half of his health. Yeah, didn't even have time to get off your special freeze attack, did you? Nope. No, you didn't. Hey, get back here. Uh oh. That is one thing with the Gibdos is when they start doing that. Make sure you run away, otherwise you will freeze in place, and you'll just be you're you're stuck. And while at the like at normal difficulty, it's not as much of an issue. When you get to the, especially when you go to hard, or I think after you beat the game once, it goes to hero mode. Um, yeah. <laughs> once you step up the difficulty to that. Um, you don't want to be left frozen because they will cause you some serious pain. And let's clear out the room here with some dragon fire. Outpost captain down. Very nice. Okay, now time to... Ooh, I missed the material. Silly me! Did I ask how you all are doing? Because I am rather curious. How are you all doing today? Uh... It's been uh, it's been a very busy week, but plans are moving ahead as far as stuff with Papa Kin Media goes, and I'm honestly just so happy about the way things are going right now. Now, admittedly, I'm still a bit behind as far as um, trying to get certain things out of the way, but I finally feel like I'm starting to get caught up, and I can't tell you how good of a feeling that is. <laughs> And I, I wish I could give you, you know, some more detail on that, but let's just say that things have been... Uh, what's the best way to put it? Things have uh, been a bit stressful lately due to just wanting to try and get as much material out to you all as I can. Uh, hold on a second, I'm going to try and listen for the uh, Golden Sculptula. Uh-oh. Darn it! Okay. Um, maybe I'll skip the Golden Skulltula for now. Oh. Oh! I think it's under here. Yep! Gotcha. Okay. Time to head out and pr protect... The time to protect the Great Deku Tree! Great Deku Tree, I'm coming to your aid! I don't even know what kind of accent that was supposed to be an imitation of, but I apologize to everyone for that wholeheartedly. I am a bit surprised that the fire doesn't actually damage me. Find the Great Fairy. I am headed that way. You're dead. Give me your material. Thank you. Oh, it's a Gibdo. Bye, Gibdo. <laughs> oh, wow. Over half of the eastern tree was taken down. Sweet. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's another one. Uh oh. And that should take care of them. <laughs> I guess it's pretty uh, typical by now, but uh, 
you know, whenever I'm silent for a few seconds, it's usually because I'm concentrating or maybe thinking a little bit too hard. I don't know. I guess that's open to interpretation. <laughs> there we go. Now, uh, oh, hello. And goodbye. Where did, ah, there's the material. Who's whining about getting their butt kicked? Oh, hello, Gibdos. Nope. Ah, you jerk. That was not nice at all. Ah, come on. There we go. Don't touch me with your filthy bandaged hands that disgusting and they reek of old. You're so old. Oh, getting out of the way of the breath. Yes. Bye bye. <laughs> Yeah, this, this level is so much better after uh, unlocking that second combo. I love it. I am coming to your fa- Darn it, Gibdo. I'm coming, just give me a second to uh, take out the Gibdo here. He's causing your people pain. And... Uh oh uh oh, uh oh, no, no, no! Whew! And sometimes you can't break out of the combos when you're like, when the, it's going through the motions. So you definitely got to keep an eye out for that. And you're down. Thank you. I'm going to take out this outpost. Hello. Goodbye. Barbecue. <laughs> All right. Now... Heading toward the great, great fairy fountain, and you know what? Let's turn up the heat. <laughs> 